With electric vehicles set to take over the road, what about ocean faring vessels? We will explore electric boats such as cargo ships and container ships that can transport goods all over the world. Welcome to Rapid Rev, everyone, and get ready to learn about electric cargo ships. Before we do, please like and subscribe to support the channel. More on that at the end of the video. Without further ado, here we go. When we say electric ships, what type of ships do we mean? While tons of boats and ships sail on the ocean, we are talking about the biggest ships, like container ships, cruise ships, and cargo ships. Basically, ships that carry a lot of cargo or people and traverse vast distances. If these ships can be electrified, most other ships likely could too. So what does it take to electrify these massive ships? An electrically powered ship will need onboard batteries to drive an electric motor, which will spin the propeller. Additionally, some electricity will be required to power other ship systems like lighting and AC. So how does this differ from more widely used propulsion technology? While many different types of propulsion exist and whole videos can be done about them, we will quickly run through diesel electric and natural gas engines. Modern diesel electric engines consist of a diesel engine that burns heavy fuel oil to drive an electric generator. This electric generator sends electricity to electric motors that power the propeller and any other electrical systems on the ship. Ultimately, these propulsion systems generate CO2 emissions and also sulfur emissions. For natural gas or LNG engines, two main setups exist. Firstly, natural gas can be burned to power a steam turbine which in turn propels the ship. Secondly, a dual fuel engine using both natural gas and heavy fuel oils generates electrical energy to propel the ship similar to diesel electric engines. While LNG engines can drastically reduce CO2 pollution, methane leaks can slip out of the system, releasing methane to the atmosphere where it's 86 times more potent than CO2 as a greenhouse gas. So moving on to battery powered ships, we will look at some of the pros and cons. For pros, lower operating costs is a big one. The cost of electricity to power the ship is less than the equivalent amount of fuel oil and natural gas. Additionally, Less maintenance is required because of less moving parts due to eliminating the engine. Another pro is the silent operation of the battery electric propulsion system, again because of removing the noisy engine. Lastly, another pro is drastically reduced CO2, NOx, and sulfur emissions, as can be expected, leading to cleaner local environments and a cleaner global atmosphere. For cons, the biggest con is basically batteries still aren't good enough. They don't have enough range, they cost too much, they take up too much space, and they degrade over time. Consequently, current electric ships can only go on short routes or have to make frequent stops relatively. Lastly, battery charging infrastructure at commercial ports is limited at best. With these cons in mind, let's explore how battery electric ship technology can improve. For batteries, the energy density needs to significantly improve with an IEEE article suggesting density needs to improve up to 10 times to weigh approximately the same as a diesel engine and fuel. However, with Tesla and other companies pushing battery technology forward, the required battery energy density will likely be achieved. Secondly, charging infrastructure at ports needs to be developed and built. Some features would include fast charging and managed power draw from the grid. You can't overwhelm the grid every time a ship needs to charge. Lastly, I just want to add that I doubt fuel cells will be a major player since no company is driving progress on fuel cell technology further like Tesla and grid companies are driving progress on battery technology. Currently, there might be some practical limitations on building electric battery powered ships. If battery technology was already feasible for powering all ships today, production of lithium batteries would likely not be able to meet demand. As battery production ramps up, we will have to see if this is a problem that will be present in the future when battery technology is ready to electrify ships. On another note, another innovative technology that could accompany electrification is autonomous navigation. Without diving into the details, if autonomous navigation existed, it could reduce operational expenses of the ship because less crew would be required to operate the ship. So even if the batteries were more expensive up front, it could make sense to build electric ships over diesel engine ships because of autonomous navigation and lowered operating expenses. With all that said about electric ship technology, you might be asking yourself, 
Is anyone working on this technology in the real world? We will talk about four players that I found. Kongsberg and Yara, the Chinese, E5 Consortium, and Portliner. Jumping in, Kongsberg and Yara are jointly developing the Yara Birkeland for use in Norway. This electric cargo ship will initially operate as a manned vessel, move on to remote operation, and then potentially move to autonomous operation. With an approximately 8 megawatt hour battery pack, this ship is still under construction, but it looks likely to be finally launched in 2020. On the Chinese side, please excuse me if I butcher, butcher a lot of the names, not a ton of information is available, but it appears a ship was built in 2017 at the Guangzhou Shipyard International in Guangzhou, the capital of Guangdong province. The ship has a cargo capacity of 2,000 tons, carrying coal along the Pearl River, and can be recharged in approximately two hours at its ports. Despite carrying coal, the Chinese can learn about electric ship design to build ships capable of longer routes, and then in the future, these ships will be able to help reduce global pollution. Additionally, it appears another ship whose name I can't pronounce, Zhong Tian Dian Yum 001, was launched in 2020 on the Yangtze River in Changzhou. Ultimately, the Chinese have built two ships for use on inland riverways and are likely iterating on their battery electric ship technology. Over in Japan, the E5 consortium plans to develop, realize, and commercialize zero emission electric vessels, planning the launch of their first vessel in 2022. However, currently only concept renderings are available, putting them behind the Norwegians and the Chinese. Lastly, a company called Portliner in the Netherlands is also working on electric autonomous ships, namely the Portliner Anna. The hull has been completed, and interestingly, they plan to outfit the ship with flow batteries, a different technology than lithium ion. Additionally, Portliner is an initiative of the Van Meegen Group, who have 20 years of experience in the maritime industry. Only time will tell if they are successful. Drop a comment below on which company you are betting on. With all these companies working on electric ship technology, what will the future look like? I think deployment of electric ships will closely follow the advancement of battery technology, opening up longer routes for bigger ships. As it becomes economically viable, it will replace diesel engines, LNG engines, and steam turbines. And potentially, after the batteries have degraded on a ship, they could be swapped for fresh batteries, while the old ones go on to be used in the grid or somewhere else. Ultimately, electric ships will make more and more waves on headlines and on oceans in the future. A future with cheaper, cleaner, and more reliable marine propulsion will change lives by enabling cheaper, sustainable transports of goods and more accessible tourism. Along with all the environmental positives, the future looks better indeed. Thank you so much for watching this Rapid Rev video. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. Also, come back for more videos about revolutionary technology. Also, leave a comment below. Do you think these ships will come soon or will they take a while? Do you think any of the companies I mentioned will be the leader or will new players emerge? What type of batteries will be most commonly used? Will people be too scared to ride on electric boats because batteries and water together seem scary? To me, this opportunity looks huge and electric boats seem way easier and cheaper long term to own and operate, no matter what size. Before you go, if you have any video ideas you'd like to see, drop them below and I will look into it. Also, find Rapid Rev on Twitter and Instagram to get updates and content on those platforms too. If you'd like to support the channel more, vote on video ideas, request video ideas, or just generally have a direct line to me, please go to the my Patreon in the description or at patreon.com slash rapid rev and subscribe to one of my tiers. I would love to talk with y'all and make way better videos. Your support is worth more than Tesla stock. Thank you again and see you in the next one.